and we have officially started the restart trail with a bit of rain. It's a bit cold, but we will see how we go. Hopefully the rain eases off. Creek crossing number one. See so who's gonna do it. Our first sheep friends on the hike. Bye. I think we're used to really well maintained tracks because we just had to hop a barbed wire fence. That's the track there. It's eroded away completely. And now we're on farmland. Hopefully it's okay because you just can't walk the track. We're walking through straight bog up to my ankles with the water. And we have for a while. <laughs> Woohoo, go hiking. Every step you take, you just sink into the bog. This is my life now. You just have to fight the weeds to get a spot on the trail and it's a steep drop off. How good. Just a bit of trees falling down on the track. Just have to walk over them. And try not to slip. Ah. Walking along a suspension bridge. Ah. It just starts shaking every time I start to film and walk. You're not getting the content you deserve because I can't do it. We've got all these beautiful flowers on the trail around us. So nice. I love them. View from the hut. And we're leaving the hut and we're heading up to Dart Hut. It should take four to six hours. It's already muddy, but the sun is kind of out. You can't really tell how hectic the walk we just did is, but we're, we're getting there eventually. Made it to the top. snow falling or water. Crazy. Mountain daisies. Just by this little waterfall. Wow! We just caught our first glimpse of the glacier. It looks pretty cool. There's Sarah. It's also very windy. I tried to film earlier and I actually couldn't because the wind blew so much. The wind is so hectic right now. We just went past the waterfall where the water was like going upwards because of how windy it is. But there's been a break, so I'm trying to film. But I can't film all the sketchy bits because of how windy it is. Oh, how cool is this? Ha! Ah. Just a lovely part of the trail. goes to a proper bush back in. Oh, watch out to the left there. We're at a really beautiful part of the trail. The sun is out. The trail is not really a trail though. It's more just like <laughs> falling apart a little. Massive landslide. And we're like, where is the track? It is completely gone now. It was washed away. We'll see how we can get across. So nice here. Beautiful. About to do another crossing. We're a bit stressed because that snow up there looks a bit precarious. Another crossing. So many of them. So the path is actually just like a little waterfall creek thing at the moment. <laughs> so we're just making our way down, giving it a crack. There's literally a warning about quicksand. Um, lovely. Let's go through it. 
finally, after all the childhood like warnings about quicksand, it's actually become a threat. Like when I was a kid, I thought quicksand would be much more of a threat. I did. It. All right, let's go through the quicksand. There's heaps of birds. You can't see them. And there's the quicksand and a landslip so we're just walking up they're beautiful so birds cute. sorry mum it says extreme care required track climb steeply for the next 70 meters to a rock bench followed by 200 meter meters of sheer drop-offs let's see how this goes here's that drop-off they were talking about bloody crazy cool part of the trail where there's like the water so blue in the distance it's a very narrow track and a very very steep drop huge waterfall but we're near the end yay but hopefully the sandflies don't just eat us to bits at the end